Week one of the Fortnite World Cup Open just finished over the weekend, and it seems that one of the players who qualified for the finals has some cheating allegations put out on him. It's completely possible that he is legit, and his name is unjustly being dragged through the mud right now. So let's try to find out. Today, we're going to be looking at what evidence there is against Dubs to decide whether or not he was cheating during the World Cup. We're also going to compare his gameplay to another top player in order to see if he exhibits the same traits, and we're also going to look at what kind of precedent Epic's actions will set for the rest of the World Cup. Hey, what's up guys, it's Keith Allen Henson. Let's get right into it. On Monday, news broke out involving the 16-year-old player Dubs, who managed to qualify for the NYC Finals by placing top six in his region on Sunday, allegedly attempting to contact cheat distributors in order to purchase Fortnite cheats for the World Cup. With so much money on the line, it's perfectly reasonable that there would be individuals attempting to gain an advantage, even if an illicit one for monetary gain. If you could pay a few hundred bucks for a cheat that can help you win a few thousand, would you? The simple fact here makes me think that this won't be the only cheating scandal to come out of the World Cup as it continues in the coming weeks. So, what evidence no, was there? Bro. Basically, a bunch of screenshots were being shared of Dubs on a cheating forum as well as in Discord DMs with a distributor asking for Fortnite cheats. We know that Dubs has used the name RuDubs before based on his old Twitch URL, as well as his older Discord name. But some people are saying these screenshots might be fake, since people are having trouble finding an old cheating forum account that belongs to Dubs. The only one they are finding seems to have been created very recently, right before all this news even broke out. When it comes to these screenshots, most of this can be faked pretty easily. You can inspect Element on pretty much any web page and change whatever you want on it before taking a screenshot. Photoshop any picture with text easily and also create any Discord username and have a conversation with someone pretending to be someone else. Also some proof that this conversation may have been faked was discovered by a person named Stryker. He looked up the transaction history for the Bitcoin address that Dubs supposedly paid for his cheats, but was unable to find a transaction that matched the time Dubs' message, payment sent. A lot of these conversation screenshots seem to have been deleted off of a Twitter by the person who tried to initially expose Dubs, the accuser. Aspect Dolphin one on Twitter was given the evidence by others at first to expose Dubs, but they seemed to have changed their mind later on as they deemed the evidence simply wasn't great enough to warrant publicly calling out Dubs as a cheater. So he later tweeted that he does not think Dubs is cheating and then seemed to delete his tweets from his account completely. People are starting to doubt Aspect Dolphin 1 completely at this point since he seems to be running away from what he essentially started. So if the screenshots are potentially fake, what evidence should we go off of? Well, Epic did release replay files for the World Cup Open, week one. I managed to download all of Dub's finals games, except for his game six, which was given an error when trying to download. Unfortunately, as of Wednesday, the replay files are inaccessible in-game, now due to the 8.40 patch release, so I'm simply going to be discussing what kind of gameplay I saw when I reviewed his replays last night. As a reminder, that this is Dub's getting second place versus the top 3,000 players in his region. If he is a cheater, he likely would have been cheating in this event in order to do so well. Dub seems to have a consistent drop spot and rotation plan for each game. He landed in the same spot every game. His rotations were pretty consistent, and his strategy seemed to be about getting a baller mainly. He would sometimes take early game fights, and half the time he would actually lose them. His aim did not seem suspicious in any of his kills I watched. He managed to win two games where he played mainly for placement, and in some, didn't fight until the very end. A cheat in Fortnite would mainly help you with A, landing shots, and B, getting information. Neither of these can help you build, figure out when to rotate, where to position, how to converse material, when to go for high ground, etc. A large part of success in competitive Fortnite and really any competitive game is having strong game sense, something which cannot be obtained from cheats and is generally a good sign of naturally talented players. Basically, I saw that nothing could say that Dubs was cheating beyond a reasonable doubt in these replays. The gameplay seemed mostly natural, and placement survival seemed to be key for Dubs' success. That isn't to say he wasn't cheating. There were moments watching some arena footage from him where his aim seems a little unnatural. There are cheats that can provide subtle advantages to things like aim. You can also have visual cheats such as wall hacks or ESP on hand, and if you're not blatant about what information you can see through walls, no one will be able to tell you're cheating from the replay anyways. 
You can say this about nearly any pro player, though, which is why it can sometimes be so hard to catch cheaters just by watching gameplay. I'm seeing a lot of footage from Dub's own stream and YouTube channel being used to prove that he possibly cheats. Having watched a lot of it, I personally think that the footage does not prove anything. In my personal opinion, his aim isn't suspicious, but more just looks like he plays on a high sensitivity. He also does not seem to have any information in these clips that he shouldn't have, so there isn't any indicator of aim cheats or vision cheats in this footage. There is even a clip from his stream making the rounds, being used as evidence that he does cheat despite the fact that he plays horribly in it. People are saying the play is so bad that there is no way this is a top tier player capable of placing high in tournaments. However, it's just one example that seems cherry picked, where he is trying to land rifle shots on a moving target while also jumping and moving himself. I think you can argue it's just him making a bad play here, missing some hard to land shots and not necessarily him playing without his cheats. But there is one more clip that is being tossed around. Personally, this clip came off to me as very sketchy at first, so let's take a look. Okay, bye, Mo. They're peeking, they're peeking. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get some tags. Just lure them if you can. I can probably Wait, get some tags off. Alright, I'm coming. It seems that Dubs knows that his opponent's two houses down are pushed up to the roof and are peeking, despite no info on his screen indicating so. He seems to figure it out through the wall. To me, this is pretty suspicious, since I can't see any indication that Dubs knew they were about to show on the roof. However, the clip does start with him knowing there are opponents at the house, because his teammate calls it out. Yo, right here on top of the is there people over there? Yeah. Okay, I'm stacked. We can just sh we can fight. He may have accidentally thought he okay, spotted them on the roof, called it out, they were yeah, peeking, yeah, and just time. happened Where to get lucky. Yeah. Either way, it would be completely unfair to come to a decision on the matter okay, just based right, yeah. off one sketchy looking clip. As of doing this, Dubs has, for the first time since the drama started, turned on his live stream to play some duels with his partner. He is using a hand cam in an attempt to dispel aimbot accusations, playing customs with some pros. So far, everything looks legit, and his gameplay doesn't look bad at all. So, how does Dub's play style compare to another top tier player? Let's compare him to Mongrel, another player who seems to have dominated in both the duel and solo leaderboards of recent tournaments. For the week one solo finals, Mongrel played a bit more aggressively than Dub's did, getting most of his points from eliminations. Mongrel's points were 52% from eliminations and 48% from placement. Comparatively, Dubs had 32% of points through eliminations and 68% from placement. Even compared Dubs to other players in the top 20 for NAE, it seems that Dubs had the second highest percent of points earned from placement at 68%. While none of this really proves or disproves anything, one thing that could be asked is why he would play passively if he is using cheats such as an aimbot. I would honestly expect to see a higher percentage of points earned from eliminations if a player is using hacks. Looking at them as teammates in the duo format, both Dubs and Mongrel play in a pretty similar manner. They both are utilizing opponents' callouts efficiently so that they can prioritize their targets correctly. They work with their teammates to coordinate pushes against opponents using heavy snipers and explodes, and generally both seem to have good awareness of their teammates' positions and actions. In general, these traits don't come easily and is indicative of Dubs being a naturally skilled gamer. One thing I agree on is that the evidence just isn't conclusive enough to prove he cheated. And unless more evidence comes out, it's eventually going to be up to Epic Games to decide whether or not to conduct an investigation and once and for all prove or disprove whether he is or ever was cheating during these events. But isn't it a problem that it's only week one of the World Cup so far and there's already allegations of a cheater making it to the finals? This is part of the reason a bunch of pro players are disappointed with the format of the World Cup, and I think there should be future efforts to avoid potential scandals like this. Many have mentioned that adding an LAN qualifier stage where each player would have to go play in person to qualify for the finals would greatly add to the integrity of the finals, and making sure that any person or duo who cheated their way up doesn't end up taking a spot from someone more deserved. I'm not saying this is the solution, since flying out of potentially hundreds, if not close to a thousand individuals to play locally in order to decide which final 197 players will go to the NYC finals requires some insane logistics. However, I'm sure it's something Epic Games could accomplish with their vast resources. In the end though, they seem to have decided to skip this part and put players directly from online matches into the finals. Having this LAN stage could be the step to ensure no cheaters make it to the grand finals, but it is too late now. If any more cheating scandals pop up, the community is going to be pressuring Epic Games for a response, since the competitive integrity of the scene is something many people are very passionate about maintaining. 
So guys, in conclusion, do you think there is enough evidence out there to accuse Dubs as a cheater? Having form screenshots and DMs pop up all regarding a single player possibly cheating is fishy. Out of all the players to frame, why do you think people are accusing him? Why not a more well-known player? It could be because Dubs is young, new to the scene, and the accusers may have just seen him as an easy target to hit. So far today, Dubs has done a great job reacting professionally to the whole situation, and he seems to be willing to prove himself to the community by streaming his gameplay more often. Because of this, I would recommend Epic Games conducts their own investigation as the competitive integrity of the World Cup has now been brought into the spotlight. Thanks for watching. What do you think about Dubs? Let us know in the comments and be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future World Cup news. And once again, this is Keith Allen Henson. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I would love to connect with you guys and stay tuned for more videos coming out.